right. Welcome back, guys, to day two of the Persona 4 Golden real-time playthrough. So here we are, April 12th. So continuing on in the game from where we were. So it's currently the 11th, so we're going to go to bed now and pick up tomorrow. So this is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. So we got a shelf with nothing on it. And I, I'm i too tired. I can't even look at the shelf. I just can't even think about it. There's nothing on it, but still too much. So yep, can't watch TV. Probably can't work at my table or study at my desk. So let's go ahead, turn in for the night. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. I don't know how to pronounce that. It seems like it's just silence, but then there's an exclamation and a question mark, so I'm just gonna continue. This is the area is covered in a thick fog. Oh, it's Silent Hill. All you can do right now is proceed forward. So alright, let's keep going. No, thick fog, can't see anything, but it's not gonna stop us from slowing down. Oh, the Turn directions inverted. Let me see if I can fix that real fast. You know, I'll worry about it later. We'll uh we'll live with it for now. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. Okay, now the blocks are getting a little more disorganized. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. You sense someone ahead. Will you continue? Well, can't do anything else, so might as well. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Alright, so first fight, let's go ahead and attack. Hmm, <laughs> it seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. So, let's try a skill. We got this... Uh, I'm decently familiar with these moves, since I have played it before. So Zio is like a, a weak lightning attack. Cleave, we use our health, but we do a stronger physical attack. And then this one, increase in allies' defense. So let's go ahead, use lightning on him. Oh, that did one more damage than a physical attack, so... I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. Alright, let's try Cleave and see if it makes a significant difference. Nine! Alright, that's the, that's the best so far but you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. I thought they already were. So, I can't really attack at anything, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. A miss. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. So, let's see if lightning is will reach in or connect at any, at any point of damage. Attacks won't connect. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm. I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. I thought I was asleep, so I should already be unconscious. You can hear someone's Breakfast. voice. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now.
Good morning. Okay, let's eat. Let's ask, let's talk about her rather than her dad all the time. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. School zone, Samigawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. School zone intersection in front of the school. Classic Viking student. That looked painful. You should leave him be. I feel like the narrator, or I guess it's my own thoughts, but a lot of it is just very like, you should leave her alone, you should leave him be, don't get involved. You've arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um... I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom we'll teacher say the from today forward. Background noise first immediately first. cut out, so just because it's spring it might be doesn't more, mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around. You students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Okay, since we did New Game Plus and have all the attributes maxed out, we can actually say, kind of challenge him a little bit and say, you call me a loser? Huh, that's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. All right, that was fast. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Mr. Maruko goes Excuse on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So Man, hurry up first and sit down already. already. A bit He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Not very Sucks subtle. Sucks to be the transfer student. Ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! 
I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? I hope so. I want to max out all my social links. Let me get this other light going. All right. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Was this an abnormal lecture? Attention all it. teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. I didn't realize how many twins go to the school because this guy is staying right by this twin and then this girl and this girl. They must have had to split up a little bit to make it not so obvious. It's like one sits in the front, one sits in the back, but... Did something like happen? Show. Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, huh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. <laughs> Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. No promises. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Very quickly disobeying the instructions. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Yeah, obviously. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there! What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? It's best to He's leave him fine, be. Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Oh, wow. I thought I was being harsh. But she is like, no, I'll be straight and very direct. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. I already... Oh, man. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm picking up on this game pretty quick. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Dude, that guy looks like he's who, 40. Who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. 
No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? I, it looks like I'm a ventriloquist puppet came Fine. to life. Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll got teach him. me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Please, this isn't Persona 5. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? I can't remember how I'm supposed to respond to this. So, I guess let's just be honest or direct and be a bit complimentary. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. I get you, Kiko. You're an independent <laughs> no, woman. Sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Let's try to play it cool, not not get on his bad side on day two. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information.
that run. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. See, it sounds like I feel like there's gonna be a lot of suspicion on me. That's like first day in town. Incident happens. Something hanging from the antenna. Everyone knows it's gonna be pinned on the new guy. So I feel like I have to go straight home, and there's not gonna be anything to do. But let's see. You're a student at Yasugami. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. There's a bit of a ruckus, and there's a lot of police officers. What's going on? A ruckus, you say? Huh, a crime? Really? Yay, an emergency! Now I don't have to go back to work. Classic salary man, so... I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such a great sleep, but they wake me up. But they woke me up. So real fast, I'm gonna ch check the stream because I had an internet disconnection and it looks like the bit rate's pretty low. So I'm gonna put this to the. Yeah, I'm gonna pay it to the waiting stream and then I'll come back after I check in on it. So it'll just be like one minute and I'll update you guys. So see you in a minute. Okay, looks like it's fine now, so we're gonna keep carrying on. I'll review the footage afterwards and see if everything's alright, but for now, if there's any issues, sound off in the chat and I'll try to troubleshoot as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and follow the police officer's instructions and go home for the day. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was gonna buy some tiny salt tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some of that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden, as long as they have some unused land to work with. Take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Okay, now I'm a little skeptical that she's scoping out my residence. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> nice try, lady. There's an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. Just like the woman said. It will become evening when you return home. So before concluding and accepting evening, let's see if there's anything else we can do. What if we go back to school? Hey, you, don't you know there's an order to go home? What if you get caught up in something bad? Go straight home, you hear? Alright, I guess King Moron is keeping us in check. So, I know she said, hey, let's go to Venus some other time, but she's not around. Okay, kid, you know what's going on here? I'm waiting for my dad. He says he's gonna come get us. I heard something happen, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. You must be a student at Yasugami High. It would be terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. See, this guy's a little more... indirect. The elevator is currently being inspected. What about this elevator? Oh, both of them are being inspected. Leave you miss? Yes. So let's get to the floodplain. Yeah, it seems like a pretty happening place. 
You must be a student of Yasugami High. You should head straight home for today. I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. You know, did you have anything to do with this old man? Isn't this river something? It's called the Samigara, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Is there some kind of accident? Alright, anything else down this way? Just a crow. Let's leave the floodplain. And, alright, let's turn in for the night. It will become evening when you return home. Alright, we checked pretty much everything else there is to do, so might as well turn in. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. I feel like the transition music was a little too peppy for news like that. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? You mean the one that everyone's talking about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> I guess I should comfort her, rather than just being like, Ooh, are you worried? You think something's gonna happen that's bad? I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems that the local TV station in Nasser was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayume Yamano, her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's <laughs> Juness. At Juness, every day is Man, customer appreciation. Every time day. anything Come dark happens, Juness Marshall on TV, she's completely relieved. Every day is great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Let's go ahead and compliment her. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. Seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. He should leave her alone. Come on, just put on a Juness commercial and she'll forget all about it. Nothing catches your eye. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make one. Alright, making me save. So I'll go ahead and go to bed, and then during that transition, then we'll end the stream. And we'll just pick it from there tomorrow. You're still get tired from getting used to your new life. You should return to your room and rest. I mean, I guess if we have to. Alright, so now we're on to the next day. So, thank you for tuning in. This is day two, and that's a wrap. So, we'll see what happens. Continue the story tomorrow. So, again, thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.